What are your thoughts on the uh, shut air advantage helmet? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> what are your thoughts on playing uh, back in Canada? I, it's very exciting. It's very exciting for me. Uh, obviously, that's where I got my first opportunity to uh, play pro ball. So I'm excited to go up there. Got some friends going up there. Uh, they'll be at the game. So um, again, it's ex exciting for me. Do the fans really get into the uh, Canadian game and football in general? Oh yeah, they're diehards. Every city, usually there's not too many uh, you know major sports in each city there. So you know where I was at uh, in Hamilton was definitely big uh, football. How far is Hamilton? Um, they're in the Western Division, um, probably like three hour flight. Okay. Yeah. What's been your impression of uh, Jonathan Abel so far? Uh, the kid's intelligent. Um, you know, he came in here and he has a, he has a veteran IQ of, of the game. Um, high energy guy. Uh, he's going to be a, a great player in this league. Pretty quiet? Pretty quiet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. It seemed like even back in the offseason program that you were being more vocal and kind of helping young guys who are learning the uh, system. Um, is that just from being comfortable and familiar with it, trying to pass it? Uh, yeah, um, you know, this is my third season with the organization, you know. Last year was a huge year for me individually in my career. Um, so I just felt like, um, I felt like I kind of earned the right to, you know, to be more vocal. I was, I'm always a kind of lead by example type of guy. You know, some, and sometimes you do have to speak up, especially when you have a young team. So I feel like that was kind of my role this season, um, and to speak up and just, you know, influence those guys and pass forward with the knowledge that uh, the other, other older guys like Reggie Nelson and Marcus Gilchrist and Leon Hall when they were here last year did for me. Because of the road you, you, you took to get here that's been pretty well chronicled about CFL and the jobs you had and then to, to, to make it, do you always feel like you're playing for a roster spot every practice, every game? Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, because that voice in my head that told me like I wasn't good enough is always there. Um, and that's just who I am and how I was raised. You know, my mom didn't have an easy life coming up and she didn't raise us uh, in, under easy circumstances. So, you know, adversity has always been in my life and, you know, I'll always be that type of person to always want to uh, do better. How would you describe me? of this team with so many new pieces, especially now that you guys are, are on the cusp of the regular season? Um, you know, obviously you can see the speed is different this year, being younger. Um, but the, the locker room itself, it, we're still, everybody's still very close. Um, you know, it, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. You know, see guys gel since the springtime. And, you know, you could, you you have that break off, and it's like, what are people doing in that that month period of time? You get to come back and to leave off or, or start off where you left off. It's it's inspiring. Oh yeah, you definitely miss a guy. You miss the joking around and everything like that. But at the same time, some of us live away from our family, so it's always nice to go back home and you know, kind of get football off your mind. As you look around, uh, you guys know, think you look at the receivers that you're guarding now, and you look around at the new guys in the secondary, and you're thinking, wow, we're like way faster. We're, we have a, you know, we have a lot more good players than we had before. I'm not, I'm not oh, trying yeah. to run down what you had last year, but sure. you look at Brown and say, wow, this is a yeah, yeah. way better team. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely we're definitely more athletic this year for sure. You know, uh, those guys last year they did a great job coming in here with a new organization, our new staff, and everything, and uh, new schemes, and doing a great job getting the young guys ready. You know, and but this year it's just on the field, the field speed is just different. How big a deal do you think it is for the for the NFL to be coming to Canada? I mean, the general population do they is the Canadian game more popular? Or do they watch the, the NFL more kind of generally? I would probably say they still watch the Canadian football more, but uh, anytime we could play internationally, I think it's huge, you know, uh, especially with our platform, just to reach out to other people. There's a lot of youth that, that watch us, so I always think it's great for us to, you know, go to other countries and play in front of people. Do you have any memories of playing at Winnipeg? Oh, yeah, I, I definitely have some uh, memories. Uh, we had a lot of close battles with those guys. Uh, like I said, they're in the Western Division, so we only played them twice a year, but. Uh, they were, they were a good organization when I was up there. As far as your game goes, is there something you focused on this offseason that you worked on to kind of uh, hone a certain skill, or what was your focus this offseason? Just continue to take care of my body. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the OG in the room. I'm the, old, I'm the, older, uh, the oldest DB now. So, you know, just to take care of my body and uh, continue to work at the things I think I need to work on um, and continue to get faster and um, the knowledge of the game, just study more film.